One year after the bombs went off at the Boston Marathon, most physical wounds have healed, but the anniversary brings back emotional pain for the victims. I'll be happy when it's over. It feels like it was just yesterday. April 15th was a picture perfect day, suddenly turned chaotic. <laughs> At 2.49 p.m., two bombs explode near the finish line, killing three and injuring 265 people. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Police, first responders, and the public rush to the scene to care for the wounded. I woke up on the ground with the firefighter on me, putting a tourniquet on my legs. No one should approach them. Surveillance pictures no reveal two suspects, happen. brothers Tamerlan and Zokar Sarnaev, walking nonchalantly away from the crowds. Come on, Police from across the region mobilized in what would be the largest manhunt the city had ever seen. This got personal with a lot of us. It really did. They blew up our city. They blew up our marathon. With the Sarnayev brothers on the run, another tragedy. 27-year-old MIT police officer Sean Collier is allegedly gunned down by the fugitives in his patrol car. He, he died doing what he loved. He lived doing what he loved. The hunt would end in the neighboring city of Watertown, three days after the bombing. Tamalin Sarnayev is killed in a shootout with police. Hours later, his younger brother is found hiding in a boat. He's captured after another shootout. The arrest inspiring cheers and parades across the region. That's one of my memories that I'll never forget, to drive and see the street line with people waving American flags and thanking all the officers. It was just an unbelievable feeling. As Zokar Sarnayev awaits trial one year later, the pain for the victims and people involved is still fresh. I don't think anybody knows what they're capable of doing until you're forced to be in it. And I just want to be normal. I want to be pre-April 15th. I feel like I don't want to let those people down that don't even know me that support me. I learned that I'm much stronger. And a nation learns what it means to be strong in the face of tragedy. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.